Olivia and the Perfect Valentine, written by Natalie Shaw, illustrated by Shane L. Johnson. Valentine's Day was one of Olivia's favorite holidays, and it was just around the corner. What's so great about Valentine's Day? asked her little brother Ian. Well, it's the one day of the year when everything is my favorite color. Red, Olivia replied. And when there's hearts and lace and pretty things everywhere you look. Yuck, said Ian. The only kinds of hearts I liked are heart-shaped candies. This year, Olivia decided to make her own Valentine's Day cards. She had a stack of red paper, white paper doilies, and lots of crayons. See, William, Olivia told her baby brother, this is how you make paper hearts. First, you fold the paper in half, Olivia explained. Then you take a crayon and draw half a heart. Next, you cut along the crayon line and unfold the paper. Ta-da! A perfect heart! After cutting out a bunch of hearts for her valentines, Olivia made a list of everyone she wanted to make one for. When she got to Ian's name, she put down her crayon. He said he doesn't like hearts, so I don't want to make him a regular valentine, Olivia told William. Thump, thump! Olivia could hear Ian kicking the soccer ball around in the backyard. That's it, Olivia said. Ian loves soccer, so she could make the perfect valentine for him by decorating a heart with soccer balls. It looks so great, she decided to make perfect valentines for everyone. They would all be different because everyone liked different things, but they would all have one thing in common. They would be red. Olivia made valentines for her mother, father, grandmother, and William too, but there were still more names on her list. She decided to take a little break and go outside. Hmm, Olivia wondered aloud. I have the feeling I'm forgetting someone. Who else needs a perfect valentine? Me, said a voice. It was Olivia's friend Francine. Francine's name was already on Olivia's list. Olivia invited her to come inside and make valentines with her. Olivia made a valentine for Francine, and Francine made one for Olivia. They promised not to peek at each other's cards, so they would be a surprise on Valentine's Day. Then they both made valentines for Daisy, Harold, and Julian. But Olivia still had a feeling she was forgetting someone. Mrs. Hoggenmuller, Francine said. But Mrs. Hoggenmuller was already on Olivia's list. Olivia made a heart for her teacher and decorated it with a picture of her pet turkey, chalk, and a chalkboard eraser. Then she made one for the postman and another for a firefighter, Fred. After that, Olivia couldn't think of anyone else to make a card for. And all the names on her list were checked off. Well, I guess that's it, Olivia said. See you tomorrow, Francine replied. I mean, see you on Valentine's Day. In Mrs. Hoggenmuller's class the next day, Olivia passed out her valentines and received a bunch in return. Francine gave her a valentine with red stripes on it. I love it, said Olivia. It matches my favorite shirt. And I love the ribbons on my valentine, said Francine. They match my favorite ribbons. Julian looked at his card and smiled. How'd you know that I love music? He asked Olivia. And that I love daisies? Asked Daisy. And that I love frogs? Asked Harold. Because you're my friends, replied Olivia. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. After school, Olivia walked around the neighborhood with her mom and passed out more valentines. Thank you, Olivia, said firefighter Fred. It's perfect, said the postman. How did you guess that I collect stamps? That night at dinner, Olivia gave her cards to everyone in her family too. Thanks, Olivia, Ian smiled. I love soccer. But she felt like she was forgetting someone. And then, just before bedtime, it hit her. She forgot all about Perry and Edwin. They're part of the family too, Olivia exclaimed. 
How could I forget to make them the perfect Valentines? Don't worry, Olivia, Dad said. They know you love them. Now off to bed. But I know what I can make them, Olivia explained. I can put dog bones on Perry's card and cat treats on Edwin's card. I have an idea, Olivia, Mum replied. Why don't you tell them how much you love them and maybe give them some treats too? Olivia thought about it and decided her mum was right. There probably was nothing better for her pets. Here are some extra treats for being perfect pets, Olivia told them. I love you so much. Then it really was bedtime and mum had a special treat for Olivia. Edwin and Perry can sleep in your room tonight, mum said. Now it really is the perfect Valentine's Day, Olivia replied with a happy yawn. Sweet dreams, Olivia, Perry, and Edwin, whispered Mum. Olivia cuddled up with her cat and dog and fell into a very sweet sleep. Thanks for listening and don't forget to subscribe. Want to check out the last story we read? Here's the link. Do you have a favorite book you want read aloud? Leave it in the comments below.